we can go over it. So, so we're here at uh, USA MedBed Hospital Direct Medical, and we're going through we're with uh, Jeremy, our service technician. Uh, Jeremy, being a former heel rom technician, has 15, almost 20 years experience working on the beds, doing preventive maintenance, repair. But I want to do a video so when people buy a bed from us, they know exactly what's going on. Jeremy's going to basically go through some of the things that we that we do with the beds, what we see when we get the beds, which is actually actually pretty interesting. And uh, these are three Progressa beds. So this video is really on the P7500 Progressa, although we do have Jeremy go through all the beds that we send out. So, um, Jeremy, we got the Progressas here. These are ones that are ready to go that you've gone through. Yes. Do, do you want to go over to one here that we're working on right now that can kind of give us an overview of some of the things that you'll do and some of the things you're seeing that we've repaired on some of these beds? Yes. Um, if you look down at the bottom, you'll see the uh, lower cover. It's called a cowling. Um, that particular cover, we take those off all the way across. That's a one large cover there. And then it goes into a little center cover. And then at the head up here, you'll see this one's off as well. Yeah. Down here, you'll see the blower assembly. Um, that blower assembly has a filter, if you can get around there. Yeah, I sure can. All the way around the other side. Got it. Down at the bottom. Okay. Right down here. Got it. That's where the filter is. So this entire blower cover has to come off to be able to access that filter. Now, what that filter does is it allows uh, clean airflow into the blower motor assembly, which provides all of the airflow for the entire bed. If that filter gets clogged, if it's not cleaned every year, it will get clogged up and it will uh, impinge upon the operation of the blower motor itself, thereby reducing the life of the blower motor. Yeah, and I'm just going to jump in here real quick. We've pulled blow, we pulled that assembly off. We've been looking at filters Yes. And it's quite clear that even in a hospital setting, and I don't want to throw anybody under the bus because we don't know who's doing the PMs, but the PMs being done in a lot of these hospitals, especially the ones that had these progressive beds, yes. they were not going through and doing that. They were not pulling those off. Those filters were clogged, were absolutely caked. caked like, yes. And that was literally just a timing thing to blow out the blower because you can't blow air through when the filter's that clogged. Correct. Correct, and it will again. It will reduce the life of the blower. You will. It's a. It's a about a ten or fifteen minute um, repair to to take off the top cover and take out the uh, blower cover and take that filter out and clean it and then just put it back in. It's just four simple screws there and one for the cover here. Yep. Um, it's very very simple. It's going to save you eight nine hundred dollars, maybe a thousand dollars down yep. the road. Yep. Because you're going to extend the life of that yep. blower. Yep. And we just did a service call with those uh, folks out in uh, South Carolina. South Carolina, correct. And they had bought the bed. They had a lot of cats, a lot of pets, pets in the home, a lot of pet hair going through there. So they actually needed that correct filter cleaned out. And there was a couple other things going on with the cable or the cord, the yes. power cord getting run mm -hmm. over by the wheels. But you know, we're getting stuff directly out of a hospital. And it's quite clear that when they're doing their PMs, and PM stands for preventive maintenance, and that's what we're doing. We're, we're doing anything that comes up with service codes. Jeremy will go into more of that. But preventive maintenance means you go in and pull that cover off, and you clean that filter out. And these are $82,000 beds. So, yes. you know, and I, the thing is, we, we all have been in the hospitals. We know what the hospitals are like. If you're running a three, four, five hundred 500-bed operation, and these biomeds get you know put in a position where they got to do that on top of all the repair, all the other stuff. It's 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 overwhelming. And one thing that we do offer now is we do offer uh, Hill Rom service and repair. We actually got our little mascot in here today, Kingston. Hi, Kingston. <laughs> He's uh, chewing sticks up here. But but this is something that we're seeing very frequently that's not getting done. So right. if you're a hospital supply chain guy, if you're a biomed that's like, hey man, I just got 300 more PMs that gotta get done. We need to sub this out. You, Jeremy has a wealth of experience. He's very thorough, prior military. I mean, when he goes through these beds, there is nothing that's being skipped. We're not cutting any corners. And this is something that you could take off the hands at the facility and probably save a lot of money because if you're not replacing all these blowers and you're clean out filters, and there's a lot more that we'll go into, but that, that makes a big difference. It's, it's a huge difference. Uh, even something as simple as just one or two drops of oil to lubricate the hinges oh, yes. and, and all the articulating mechanisms in the bed, your mechanical sections, those get debris in them uh, in hospitals or in, 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 in private care facilities. 
Um, stuff gets spilled on them. Do you want to just show us where that's at on yeah, the bed? Yeah, because sure, sure. Uh, there was a couple that you had done that um, you would kind of, I could hear it was squeaking before, and once it got done, it was not. So here's a tracking mechanism. This is this one's actually very difficult to get to. It's up under the mattress and under the the, uh, the pans themselves. The reason this one's exposed is because we had a mattress issue, and, and I removed the mattress so you could actually see it. But you want to make sure this is all lubricated down here, and you can see where I put a little, just a little bit of light yep. oil on there. And that's what you want. You want to put a little bit of light oil on it. You don't want a lot. Um, all these mechanisms here, all your hinge points everywhere, all these cylinders, all of these things, anything that moves, anything that articulates, all of these things need to have just a drop of oil on them. Yep. And these are easy to get to. You just pop the, the little pegs out of the, the uh, mattress on the end here, slide them over, pop them up, fold it up. And you access all these and you put a drop in there for each of these. And uh, each of those things will help the motors to last longer because then the motors aren't straining to fight against a gummed up or jammed up yeah. uh, uh, hinge mechanism. Right. Yeah. And so um, now we, we're doing the PMs and we go through a lot of progressive beds. And, uh, you know, Hillrom is no longer doing home care. So we're getting a lot of calls. We always have, but we get even more calls now for people that are that are putting these in their homes. And. You know, yesterday, a uh, family down in Florida, they've got a, a, a daughter that's down there who's yes. completely immobile, on a trach, um, running a vent, and they really need something high-end. But when you're buying a bed and you're going out to spend that kind of money, those are the patients that can least afford to have issues. So, you know, when you're getting a bed from us, and if it's this one or if it's over here, the Sport or any of these other beds... You know, we're starting to do these videos because, number one, we want to troubleshoot and give you ideas of things that need to get done on the bed, but also to give you some reassurance that when you're buying a bed from us uh, and you're buying it directly from the source, uh, because a lot of these companies have them on their website and you'll see the manufacturer's picture. You won't actually see real beds in the showroom because they don't have them. They're buying them from us. But, you know, this is the kind of stuff that we're doing to ensure that when you're getting this bed, we're doing everything possible to make sure that it's in great running condition and that you're going to have a long life with that bed. Yes, and preventive maintenance goes a long way. Just a tiny bit of preventive maintenance goes a really long way. It really does. So, um, so we did. We did three. We got three beds right now that we got done yesterday. Um, do you want to go through some of the service uh, issues, or do you want to do you want to do the thing right here? Can you show me the rail? The yeah, I, I rail? can show you the rail on this one. Because we've got a person that. Um, bought a bed not from us but they got a bed it has a squeaky rail so the latching mechanism if is down in here it's very difficult to see all the way in here right there yep. so from this angle obviously you can't get to it from this pan so what happens is these latching mechanisms when they're up they're difficult to push up now this one i've already i've already done but for demonstration purposes so these will be very difficult to to push and release they'll get stuck they're very tight the easy, easy fix. Raise the head of the bed. Come right over here. There's the latching mechanism that I just showed you. When I drop the rail, it pivots up. For here, for right now, it's right here. Just take a good drop of oil. Put it right on there. And just let it sit there and run down. And that's it. And then what will happen is you'll do this a couple of times. Slips right off. And it's, it's this middle piece right here? This little trigger mechanism, this little hook mechanism yep. right there. And it locks around that little bar. So as long as that bar has some lubrication on it and that has some lubrication on it, you're okay. And a lot of times food or other you know, pieces of material get dropped down and they get stuck in there. And it just needs to be cleaned out, a little bit of lubrication, and it works like a dream. Yeah. Yeah, that is uh, absolutely fantastic because, you know, these are all the little things when you're getting the bed. And, it, and you might have bought the bed six months or a year ago, but... You know, something has gotten down there, whether it's uh, fluids or, you know, just from eating in bed or whatever. It could be dust. So it's a really quick and easy fix. And then, like you said, the release on this thing now is super easy. I mean, that yes. thing I can do literally with, you know, one hand with a pinky. But uh, but that's another thing. So uh, do you want to go through anything else? I know that you go into the main control board yes. and, and <clears throat> basically pull. You recalibrate the mattresses. Yes. Now, and as you can see here, this one is telling you that there's a communication with the air control board. Because we have the mattress Yeah, the off mattress the is off. The air control board is in the, in the mattress on this right. one. Um, but we would go in here and to, to do a full diagnostic on the bed, go into the service menu, 
down here um, and enter the service code and then it will allow us to access all of the full diagnostics on the bed it'll tell us everything with all of the pressures on the bed all the uh, angles all the settings um, anything you really want to know about the bed you can uh, reset uh, recalibrate anything through the main service screen um, through that you, we also go through and we do the new patient we just press the new patient button that's all it is it asks you, do you want to reset it? It re-zeroes the bed and clears out all the old patient history. Perfect. And um, that way, when you get a bed, it's ready to go for you. You can start over from scratch and, yep. and have all your current information in there. Yeah. And so basically, you can go in and recalibrate the surfaces, which you do. Correct. Which basically is recalibrating the mattress. And so, you know, the Hillrom Progressive bed is the best bed that you can get in the world, pretty much. Definitely in the United States. I don't know of anything else that's out there that's better. Percussion vibration, which is basically a pulmonary feature. That's why you're going to see that little pair of lungs uh, that's on there. Let me go back to that. Well, it's not up here now. I don't have the mattress up there. <laughs> yeah, but, um, but basically yeah. you've got all these different features with this particular bed. So... If you're looking, if you're a hospital and you need PMs done and you're sitting with two, three, five hundred, I mean, some of these hospitals are 700 bedrooms, um, we can help you out. We've got Jeremy here with his crew. They can come in and get all your PMs done very thorough, um, very well uh, experienced with Hillrom and certified with Stryker. And then also, if you're looking to buy a hospital bed, um, this is one of the reasons we're doing these videos is to give you behind the scenes on the work that gets done. And, uh, you know, we're always shipping beds all over the United States, locations in San Diego, California. We're here in our Richmond, Virginia location. So this is a, a, a service call, uh, a preventive maintenance overview um, with Jeremy, our, our technician here on the Hillrom Progressive Bed. For more information, uh, you can get a, a hold of us at the website and addresses below and in the description. And if you have questions, give us a call for more information. Thanks for watching our videos. Subscribe and share, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, so we're just doing another real quick video um, with Jeremy, our Hillrom bed technician. We're going through the uh, Hillrom progressive bed. And Jeremy, we were just talking on the earlier video about, wow, about the lack of people um, actually going in and cleaning out the filters. And uh, Kingston, sir, this is not the time to step into this video, sir, please. All right. Our little mascot here. Just a pup. But uh, so, Jeremy, um, wow. So, you know, the thing that's interesting is uh, how many, how long would you say that that's built up, that that's accumulated? Um, depending on where the location is, if it's really dusty, if it's a dirty area, um, it, it could be anywhere from six months to a year typically this would be about a year's worth of build up okay and so would you i mean in some cases but that is that's why you do pms that's why you do preventive maintenance that's why you know here we got jeremy going through all these beds before they go out because we got to absolutely make sure that when you're getting it that this has been done because that's putting so much pressure on the blower that's blowing that air to run it through that filter when that filter is that clogged. It should all appear like this, obviously, around the perimeter here. It should all be nice and clean and white. And we'll clean this one out. It's just a fiber filter. We'll clean it out, um, dry it out. We'll reinsert it and button it all up. And the uh, it, you will actually be able to audibly hear the blower um, kind of dying, not dying, but um, reducing the amount of pressure that's in it. Right. So with this in, with a clog filter, it's much, much louder. When you take this out and it, and it increases that amount of airflow that goes in there, it quiets right down. It's so much quieter. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, one other thing that we didn't talk about in the last video was um, the batteries. We replaced all the batteries. Yes. Correct. And do you want to talk about that, like the error codes and what's going on with the batteries, why that's so important? Yes. Um, the batteries are located right down here <clears throat> in, in the uh, Progressive. You have to take out this one screw, flip this up, and then pop off this, just slide it off this tab. And here are your batteries. Um, what will happen is you'll get an error, you'll get a um, wrench code wrench right code. here, yep. right there on the screen, and it'll light up. And then when you go in here to, in the uh, main screen, into the diagnostics, into the diagnostics, correct, to, uh, to check it, it will tell you that, sorry about that. Oh, you're fine. Should I hide the secret code? The secret. I think you can find it online. I think they posted Probably it online. Probably can. I know. We all know it. But just um, 
So when you go into the diagnostics, it will tell you across here that it's, there's a battery low voltage. Code. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, you have to replace those batteries. Uh, I'll, I'll quickly show you um, the batteries that are that are in in this uh, bed. Did where the uh, did you do you have the old uh, are these the, the new are these the ones we replaced? Or these, these are the, these are the ba batteries that were in the bed. Okay. okay, so these are the ones we replaced basically. Correct. Yes, yeah. these are the ones that we replaced. So these this is the type of battery you need. You need two of them. The key to this is these terminals. The blades on the terminals have to be a specific size. There's another battery exactly the same size with exactly the same voltage and and uh, and um, and um, rating on it, but the blades are different. So you need to make sure when you get these batteries that they have the exact same blade size, and it, it all meets up uh, we, with these uh, numbers here. Got it. But uh, what happens when the batteries uh, are going bad? We were talking about it yesterday. What are some of the potential problems? So with the batteries. Uh, Going dead in this in this particular bed, um, the the batteries are your emergency backup, and the batteries are going to provide you with limited amount of mobility with the bed and a limited amount of things you can do with the bed. Obviously, the batteries are not going to be strong enough to power the entire bed for eight or ten or twelve hours. Mm -hmm. But in an emergency situation, if the power's out, if there's a hurricane or a tornado, a bad storm, or, any, or anything like that, the batteries will provide you with limited functionality. Um, to be able to move the bed, articulate the bed a little bit, um, just in an emergency capacity. So you want to keep your batteries, um, you know, fresh and charged up. If you unplug the bed for an extended period of time, mm -hmm. the batteries may discharge. So it's best just to keep the bed plugged up. That way the batteries always stay charged up. Got it. Awesome. Just another quick video. More things that we do on the preventive maintenance with the Hillrom P7500 Progressa. Fantastic bed, but we just like to go through and show, you know, some of the stuff that Jeremy does. So when you're getting this bed from us, you know, somebody and Jeremy, 13, 15, almost well, it was, well, 13 years with uh, with Hillrom specifically. Yes. And and another five, six years, yes. or whatever it is, and, doing and it. Durable medical equipment, durable medical. Mm -hmm. And basically, Jeremy can fix anything. Striker certified as well. But uh, Jeremy, once again, thanks for your time and give us a call for more information. Subscribe and share and stay tuned for more troubleshooting videos and things to do with preventive maintenance on beds. Thank you.